Hey guys, I wanted to make this little demo video for you guys in my house here, my home laboratory. Um, I have a couple things that I wanna share with you. So as far as the gas laws are concerned, pressure, volume equals the number of moles times gas constant times temperature. Okay, PV equals NRT. I have my vacuum pump here. Okay, right here creates vacuum. I have my vacuum jar. I'm gonna hook it up with a tube. Okay, so we're going to do two things. We're going to look at what happens to marshmallows, brand new bag, and we're going to see what happens to water when we put it under vacuum. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to do marshmallows. I'm going to take some marshmallows, put them into the vacuum jar I made. Okay, I'm just going to fill it up so you can see it. Turn the camera down. I'm going to put the lid on. <clears throat> nice and tight. And attach the tube. And then I'm going to turn the vacuum pump on. Now, we know that pressure and volume are inversely related. Now, vacuum is negative pressure. Okay. So pressure is going to go down. So if they're inversely related, what's going to happen to the volume? goes well there's the answer the volume increases with the decrease in pressure now I'm gonna let it go it's gonna get to a point where the gas in the marshmallows comes out and it's gonna stop now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the pump off and increase the pressure and you're gonna see that it shrimps, shrinks back down. So as you increase pressure, it gets smaller, okay? Yeah. They're not contaminated whatsoever. Okay, so I'm gonna take them out. They're just regular squished marshmallows now. Okay, now I'm gonna take water. I'm gonna carefully pour some room temperature water in the jar, okay? And again, with PV equals NRT, okay, the same principle applies, so as you uh, know that water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, uh, we can reduce that boiling point by decreasing the pressure. So we'll put the jar on nice and tight this time. I'm going to seal up the machine here. It does take a little bit longer than the marshmallows. Uh, and we're going to see what happens to the water under the vacuum. So make sure everything's set up tight. Do it one time and let's give it a shot. We're gonna let the pressure decrease inside the tube, okay, which pulls all the pressure out of the jar, which pulls pressure out of the water, causing the boiling point to drop. Okay, so slowly. We're going to start seeing some bubbles form. They're going to start really, really small, almost impossible to see. Okay. Hope I got three or four bubbles on the bottom. Okay. Oh, they're on the side now. They're starting to appear. Remember, chemistry is slow and steady. Nothing to be rushed. Seeing more bubbles. Might be hard in the camera to see it. We can't move forward anymore. The bubbles are forming, but when it starts boiling, you will definitely see it. So now the bubbles are the size of uh, the tip of your pencil. Oh, they're getting bigger rapidly. So now you can start seeing the bubbles come up out of the jar. I can see it in the screen of the computer, so it is working. So the bubbles are coming up. So the water is now boiling. Okay, so we're decreasing the pressure and... 
you get the boiling effect. Now, let's let it go just a little bit longer. The hose is starting to collapse, so it's putting a lot of force in there. Okay. My son's trying to help out here. He's giving us some advice. It is baby talk. Okay, so there we go. We got the water to steadily boil. Okay, enough of that. Now, if we were to do the opposite effect, okay, I can't do anything with increasing pressure of water in this container. But now, if we had a system to where we can put an extreme, extreme amount of pressure on water in a sealed container, we could actually have water turn to ice. Okay. Now, uh, it's something I don't have the tools to do, but it can be done. So I just wanted to show you those two simple little experiments uh, today. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you later.